In a previous video, I showed you how to create a scatter plot using Desmos, as you can see right here. And I'm going to link to that video in the upper left hand corner. But in this video, I want to show you how to create a labeled scatter plot in Desmos. So now, what I need to do is, I need to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just the data for these beef sandwiches. Because I want to break these up according to the type of meat that they have. I've got beef, I've got chicken, I've got ham, I've got other, and I've got turkey. So I'm going to copy just this data. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a note that says beef sandwiches. Because I need to remind myself which one each one is. So when I paste those in, there we go. And I'm going to change color. Beef seems to be appropriate for red. There we go. Now the next sandwich is chicken. So down here. Now if I type in a quotation mark, it'll instantly change it so that I can type chicken sandwich. And now I control V and paste that data. And now that fills in alongside it. Next, I have ham. So, quotation mark, ham sandwich. And I can't have the same color twice, so I hold, I change that to blue. Next, I have other. Oops. Oops, nope. Double quotation sandwich. That's purple. Haven't used that color yet. And then finally turkey. Quotation. Turkey sandwich. And yep, used green already. Got to use a different color. So we'll use orange for that. So here now we can tell them apart based on their color. Now you have to have this open in order to be able to tell which one is which. Unlike Google Sheets, Desmos doesn't build in a legend for you. Now the other thing you can do if you have only three categories, it doesn't work when you have four or more, is that if I click on this I can not only change their color but their shape. So I can change the beef to open circles and I could change the chicken to X's. And so this is especially helpful if you have people looking at your graph who are colorblind, who can't see the difference. But they can see the difference based on the shape. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, give it, give it a like. Or if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.